everyone, uh, David here. So we uh, put together a really quick project. It's a LinkBot Star Tracker. So we got this idea from uh, one of these uh, LinkBot Ls because they have one axis of rotation conveniently uh, oriented 90 degrees from the other axis of uh, rotation. And so all it is, it's a LinkBot with a laser pointer clutched on to one of the motors and a little stand. And so the theory is this. If you know your position on Earth, and you know the current time, and you can find a bearing, say north, then you can calculate the position relative to you of uh, any celestial body, uh, including planets and, and stars, if you have that information. And so we actually found a Python module called FM, spelled E-P-H-E-M, that does this for us, which is awesome, which means that we can use this module combined with this robot and all we gotta do is set it on a platform, point it north, and then we can get the robot to point to interesting celestial bodies. Uh, in fact, using this module, we found a way to get it to point to even, in, like, not even celestial bodies, we can point to the International Space Station. And so, um, yeah, let's... So that's the current location of Venus. That's the current location of the North Star. So what's also cool is you can calculate the positions of celestial bodies depending on the time of day. So here's the link bot uh, tracking the position of the sun as the day moves on. And it's summer right now so you can see that even at its lowest position, the sun doesn't actually go all the way to the other side of the world. What's also cool is you can point at some man-made satellites too. So here's the LinkBot pointing at the current position of the International Space Station. And unfortunately, it's on the other side of the world right now. And here's the printout of the current altitude and azimuth of the space station updating in one second intervals and you can see each second it's actually moving like a tenth of a degree so unfortunately our camera equipment isn't good enough for me to actually show you uh, this working at night but I can assure you it's pretty darn awesome uh, we were able to locate planets like Saturn uh, in a GIF, which is pretty darn cool. Um, I just wish we had uh, better camera equipment and stuff that we can show you, but you guys will just have to buy a link bot and see for yourselves. Have a good day! I'm gonna have a, a, a movie like, right out there. Yeah. <laughs> so who are we calling? <laughs> Oh, okay. careful. I'm sure Saturn Whoa. is. Saturn? It's not going to go in anyone's eye. You know, yeah, just be careful. Don't look right at it. Yeah. Ooh. That's where the whole people. <laughs> Jupiter. <laughs> oh, sweet down. That's not going to work. Where the International Space Station is. Right across the Earth from us. Where, where is it? Down. Down. <laughs> Straight. Oh, cool. I think I moved to self. It's supposed to be pointing at the North Star again. Oh. Yeah. oh. Like that. Oh, that's really cool. Maybe? That's North Star. Somewhere up there. Oh. So it. Yeah, it follows the Yeah, you have to Well, the North Star actually stays in the same place. So oh, that's, yeah. that's, that would be easy. Uh huh. So, like. In relation to that, it knows where to turn. Yeah, once you get it pointing north, uh -huh. and once you get its uh, up and down orientation correct, uh -huh. then yeah, then it, it knows how to find other stars. You have to program that, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, otherwise... I really don't think you're going to be able to see anything yeah. through this. It's supposed to be Arcturus, but the stars might start. 
Oh, here we go. Can't see it though. 